Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, shows and attractions in Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World for 2024. Stick around until the end of the video to see what exciting parades and nighttime entertainment are on offer at the park. As you enter the Magic Kingdom, you will walk straight into the iconic Main Street USA. There are plenty of shopping and dining locations, and of course that amazing view of the beautiful Cinderella Castle. As you enter the land, you will actually walk under the first attraction in this guide, the Walt Disney Railroad. You can take a 20 minute ride on one of the four locomotives as it takes a scenic journey around the park. It is also a great way to navigate the Magic Kingdom with stations in Frontierland and Fantasyland. Also also near the entrance of the park, you can meet Mickey and Minnie at the Town Square Theatre or go on a ride on one of the Main Street vehicles that will take you on a one-way trip from the Town Square to the Central Plaza or vice versa. As with all my attraction guides, I will be heading around the park clockwise which will take us to the next area, Adventureland. The first attraction you will come to is the Swiss Family Treehouse. This is a pleasant walkthrough attraction giving you some great views of Adventureland. It is based on the classic 1960 Disney live-action film Swiss Family Robinson, with plenty of easter eggs dotted around the treehouse. There isn't usually any wait time to enjoy this walkthrough, so it is perfect if you are waiting for a dining reservation or a lightning lane pass in the nearby area. Next up is the Jungle Cruise. This is the classic boat ride that takes you through different jungles from all around the world, as you encounter all the nature, audio animatronics, and of course the backside of water. It's famous for the corny jokes and puns that the Jungle Cruise skippers use throughout the adventure, which adds another amazing element to this fantastic boat ride. If you love this attraction, then you should check out the nearby restaurant Skipper Canteen that features lots of easter eggs from the amazing Jungle Cruise. The next attraction is the Magic Carpets of Aladdin. This is a spinning ride which gives you the chance to fly on a magic carpet as you take in the scenes around the beautiful Adventureland. Younger guests will love taking a flight on this fun attraction. Nearby you can also meet Aladdin and Jasmine throughout the day at their special meet and greet area. Beside the magic carpets, we come to the first show in this guide, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. This was an opening day attraction and still delights guests today with the amazing audio animatronic birds, flowers and totem poles singing the beloved soundtrack. Even if you're not a fan of the show, it's a great attraction to take a rest and enjoy the cool atmosphere. The final ride in Adventureland is another classic Disney attraction, the Pirates of the Caribbean. This dark boat ride takes you on a journey through many different scenes featuring treasure, skeletons, pirates as they take over a town, and of course Captain Jack Sparrow makes an appearance. Many changes and additions have been made over the years, but it still holds up today as it did when it first opened in 1973, and is a must ride attraction in the Magic Kingdom. Also, due to the high load capacity, it never usually has a long wait time so can be enjoyed without having to use a Genie Plus Lightning Lane Pass. Now it's time to move on to the next area, Frontierland. This can be accessed by either continuing on from the Pirates of the Caribbean or through a small opening close to the magic carpets of Aladdin. First up we start with the amazing Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This mine train roller coaster really doesn't disappoint. The theming is fantastic and takes you on an exciting journey through the abandoned mines of of tumbleweed. You'll encounter dips and turns, dinosaur bones, hear the cranking of the lift hill and bell whistles, and have a very enjoyable ride. This is a classic Disney coaster that all the family can enjoy. Next up is Tom Sawyer Island. The only way to and from the island is by taking the raft boats located in Frontierland. There are plenty of interactive and scenic opportunities in its caves, forts and other exciting landmarks. This is a nice change of pace from the rest of the park and the perfect place to relax away from the busier areas of the park. Back in the main section of Frontierland, we head to the popular show, The Country Bear Jamboree. This is a nice little show featuring amazing audio animatronic bears singing tongue-in-cheek country songs. You rarely have to wait for a showing, so I thoroughly recommend watching this if you haven't before. Also, Disney recently announced that this attraction will be getting an all-new update, so it will be closing at some point in 2024. 
The final attraction in this land is the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. For an additional small fee of a dollar, you can get 35 chances to shoot at the 100 targets throughout the gallery. This is a fun little activity that all the family can enjoy. Before we head to the next area, I can't move on without mentioning the upcoming Tiana's Bayou Adventure. This will be the re-theme to the popular Splash Mountain attraction and will hopefully be opening in the park by the end of 2024. Now let's move on to the smallest land in the park, Liberty Square, starting with the Hall of Presidents. This attraction is a multimedia presentation and stage show featuring audio animatronic figures of all 45 individual United States presidents. Joe Biden was added in 2021 with a special recorded speech completed by himself which shows a great level of detail. Come and enjoy a slice of classic American history. Next up is one of my favourite Disney attractions, The Haunted Mansion. This offers great theming, a fun storyline and awesome special effects. It has one of the greatest ride pre-shows in the infamous stretching room before you head on to the Omnimover ride system that takes you through many different scenes within the Haunted Mansion. Don't forget to look out for the newest haunt that has recently been added to this amazing dark ride. The final attraction in this land is the Liberty Square Riverboat, where you can cruise around the rivers of America on board the beautiful Liberty Bell as you take in the sights of Frontierland, Tom Sawyer Island and Liberty Square. It's a nice little 20 minute relaxing ride, so it's perfect for taking a break in between some of the more intense attractions in the park. We now go from the smallest land to the largest. Let's take a look at all the amazing attractions in Fantasyland. The first ride that you will come to is It's a Small World. This is the classic boat ride that features over 300 audio animatronic dolls in traditional costumes from cultures around the world and the catchy theme song that will get stuck in your head for days. Opposite It's a Small World is Peter Pan's Flight, the amazing dark ride that takes you through some memorable scenes from the classic Disney animation on board your very own flying ship. Throughout the day this ride can get busy so I suggest either getting here early or booking a lightning lane through Genie Plus app. In the centre of Fantasyland is the Prince Charming Regal Carousel. This is actually an authentic carousel that was built in 1917 and was purchased by Disney in 1967 before being fully refurbished. All the horses are unique and I suggest riding this attraction at night to enjoy the amazing scenery around Fantasyland while listening to an organ based soundtrack of Disney classics. Next is the 3D show Mickey's Magic. This is a great show filled with classic Disney characters and a fun storyline. Join Donald Duck as he goes through scenes from some classic Disney animations including Fantasia, The Lion King as well as some newly added scenes from the fan favourite Pixar's Coco. On the other side of the carousel, you can meet your favourite Disney princesses at the Princess Fairytale Hall. Guests of all ages can meet the likes of Cinderella, Tiana, Rapunzel and many more. Next up is the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. This is a steel based family coaster that includes some amazing audio animatronics and nice little storyline elements like the diamond mine with all the dwarves and the appearance of the witch arriving to give Snow White the poisoned apple. This is a great little coaster for for all the family to enjoy. We now head to yet another classic dark ride, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Join Pooh Bear and the gang as you ride through many different scenes featuring all your favourite characters including Bouncing with Tigger and a Heffalump dream sequence. This is another popular ride which can get long lines so make sure you plan accordingly. Next is the spinning teacup ride Mad Tea Party, based on the unbirthday party scene in Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland. You can enjoy this fun dizzy experience and don't forget to look out for the hidden dormouse that appears on top of the teapot. Also nearby you can meet Mirabelle from the popular Encanto movie in the fairy tale garden. In 2012, a new area of Fantasyland was added that is themed to two classic Disney princesses. It includes Beast Castle and two dining locations based on Beauty and the Beast as well as a special character experience at Enchanted Tales with Belle. Here you can relive the classic story before meeting with Belle inside the Beast Castle. The other area in New Fantasyland is the Little Mermaid section that includes the attraction Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid. This is an an Omnimover dark ride that takes you under the sea where you will experience an adventure with all your favourite characters and songs. You can also meet Ariel inside her grotto throughout the day. 
further on from New Fantasyland is the final section in the land, the Storybook Circus. First up is the Barnstormer. This is a junior coaster featuring Goofy as a famous stuntman, the Great Goofini. It's a nice little coaster and a great way to introduce younger kids to thrilling rides. Dumbo the Flying Elephant was also relocated to Storybook Circus as well as expanding to a two-ride system. It also includes an indoor interactive play area where you will be given a ticket themed pager while you wait to ride the attraction. It's one of those classic Disney attractions that people of all ages still love to ride. Also in the Storybook Circus, you can meet Donald and Daisy Duck, Goofy and Minnie at Pete's Silly Sideshow. And younger guests will love playing at the special wet play area, Casey Jr. Splash and Soak Station. It's now time to move on to the final land in the Magic Kingdom, the amazing Tomorrowland. You will first come to the Tomorrowland Speedway, where you can drive your very own miniature gas-powered car around an enclosed track. You will be able to see parts of Storybook Circus and Tomorrowland along this amazing course. This is perfect for younger guests that want to experience driving for the first time. Next is the rocket spinner attraction, Astro Orbiter. This takes center stage in Tomorrowland and is one of the only attractions that can be found in all six castle style parks around the world. It is also a great way to get some amazing views of Tomorrowland. Beneath the Astro Orbiter is the entrance to our next attraction, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. This is a 10 minute elevated train ride that gives you some awesome views of the park. Along the ride, you will see plenty of incredible dioramas, including the original Walt Disney model of Epcot, as well as the inside of some of the attractions in Tomorrowland, like Space Mountain and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. This ride can often be overlooked as it usually doesn't have a long wait time, but is definitely a hidden gem for Disney Park fans. We now come to the newest attraction in the Magic Kingdom, Tron Light Cycle Run. This is a steel-based roller coaster based on the sci-fi film Tron Legacy, with a cool sleek design and motorcycle-styled ride cars. Join the grid as you take a high-speed launch straight outside before heading back inside for the indoor section as you battle other riders on this exciting attraction. Even though there are no inversions, this is still the most thrilling ride in the park and is a must for anyone that enjoys coasters. Next is another amazing coaster, Space Mountain. This is of course the classic indoor roller coaster that has a great atmospheric queue line which gets you in the mood to travel to space. It features two different tracks that actually mirror each other and most of the ride is in almost pitch darkness, so you can never really tell which way you are going, making it a very exciting experience. Right next door to Space Mountain is Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Originally designed for the 1964 World's Fair, it was added to Magic Kingdom in 1975 after a short run at Disneyland. To say that this is a classic Walt Disney attraction would be an understatement. Set in a rotating theatre, it shows you the development of technology throughout the years with the use of a family of amazing audio animatronics that are still as impressive today as they were 58 years ago. Make sure you check out this amazing show. Next we have Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, the shooting dark ride that lets you compete with your family and friends to get the highest score as you help Buzz Lightyear take on the evil Emperor Zerg. Although the ride is over 25 years old, it is still very popular and enjoyable for all the family. Our final attraction in Tomorrowland is the Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. This is a fun show that uses audience interaction to create some family friendly laughs. The show utilizes digital puppetry technology which uses live actors behind a large digital screen, while computer rendered monsters appear with the actors voices. This means that each show is very unique and will have all the family in stitches. There is also plenty of live entertainment and nighttime spectaculars that can be found throughout the park. Starting with Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair, a stage show in front of Cinderella's castle featuring a host of lovable Disney characters and classic songs from films such as Tangled, Frozen and Princess and the Frog. Next up is the Disney Adventure Friends Cavalcade, which is like a miniature parade. This has lots of characters including Miguel from Coco, Mirabelle from Encanto and lots more. 
more. It follows the regular parade route starting in Frontierland, passing through Liberty Square, before heading down Main Street USA. So there is plenty of space to catch this great show. Next up is the Disney Festival of Fantasy Parade that features seven amazing floats celebrating all things Fantasyland. Look out for Peter Pan, Sleeping Beauty, Tangled, plus a host of princesses, and of course Mickey and Friends. With an original soundtrack and other amazing special effects, you won't want to miss this one. Finally, we have the popular nighttime extravaganza, Happily Ever After. This show features dazzling fireworks, beloved Disney music, and immersive projection effects on the Cinderella castle as it transforms along with the show. Expect to see and hear all your favorite Disney characters and songs in this amazing show that is the perfect way to wrap up your spectacular day at Magic Kingdom. So that wraps up all the ride shows and attractions in the Magic Kingdom for 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to help support the channel then consider subscribing or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos. If you want to know more about the attractions in Epcot then check out this guide video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.